All right, welcome to this fourth installment in the five-part series on the top five mistakes that people make when they first start using InDesign. In this fourth installment, we'll be looking at fonts and how sometimes they can also go missing, just like images. So to avoid this common mistake, we'll dive right in and take a look at fonts. For the most part, when you're working within InDesign, if you don't need to move your InDesign document between different computers, you shouldn't run into too many issues with fonts. However, if maybe someone sends you an InDesign file to work on, or you have moved your InDesign file to another computer, you may come up with an error message regarding missing fonts. So you will need to resolve these issues, especially if you're ready to export to a PDF or send it to print. Otherwise, unfortunately, it's not gonna print correctly and you're gonna end up with some pretty strange looking fonts going on. So as you can see, by looking at my document, I'm currently viewing the document in normal view mode. So if I go up to view and come down and choose screen mode normal, it allows me to see all of my guides and any issues around fonts. You can see that this font here is highlighted in this apricot color, as is the font underneath it and over here on the right. So if you ever see this highlighting pink or apricot color over your font, it means the font is currently missing and you will need to resolve that. One way to resolve it is to install the font onto your system. However, if you don't have the font, then you're going to have to replace this font with a font that you do have on your system. Now, if I come across and click on the type tool on the toolbar and then hover over the top of this text here and then just click and drag across to select it. Now you'll notice up in the control panel where I've got my font options underneath it where I've got the font family I've got a condensed version and you can see there that it's in parenthesis or in brackets. If you ever see your fonts or the name of your fonts in parenthesis or brackets, it means that it is missing and you're going to have to find a new font to replace it. So how do you resolve this? How do you replace a font within your document? Well, the quickest way to do that is underneath our find font menu. Let's go up to type and scroll down to find font. This opens up our find font window and it lists every font that we've used within the document. Any problems are highlighted here with this yellow triangle. And as we can see, this version of avant-garde Gothic condensed is not available on my system and is coming up as a missing font. So because I don't have a copy of that anywhere on my computer, what I'm gonna do is replace that font with something that I do have available. So by selecting that font and then coming down to my options under the replace with drop down and the font style will be condensed. So now that I've found a replacement font, all I need to do is come across and click on change all and it will replace every instance of that missing font and then I can click done. So as you can see, I've now resolved all those issues of missing fonts and I'm ready to export and print without any issues regarding my font family. So the key takeaway from this video is to ensure that you have either installed all the required fonts for a document, or if you do receive an error message, go up to the find font options and replace that missing font with the font that's on your system. I look forward to seeing you in the next video tutorial.